Quantum error correction QEC is used in quantum computing to protect quantum information from errors due to decoherence and other quantum noise. Quantum error correction is essential if one is to achieve fault-tolerant quantum computation that can deal not only with noise on stored quantum information, but also with faulty quantum gates, faulty quantum preparation, and faulty measurements. Classical error correction employs redundancy. The simplest way is to store the information multiple times, and, if these copies are later found to disagree, just take a majority vote, e.g. Suppose we copy a bit three times. Suppose further that a noisy error corrupts the three-bit state so that one bit is equal to zero but the other two are equal to one. If we assume that noisy errors are independent and occur with some probability p, it is most likely that the error is a single-bit error and the transmitted message is three ones. It is possible that a double bit error occurs and the transmitted message is equal to three zeros, but this outcome is less likely than the above outcome. Copying quantum information is not possible due to the no cloning theorem. This theorem seems to present an obstacle to formulating a theory of quantum error correction. But it is possible to spread the information of one qubit onto a highly entangled state of several physical qubits. Peter Shore first discovered this method of formulating a quantum error correcting code by storing the information of one qubit onto a highly entangled state of nine qubits. A quantum error correcting code protects quantum information against errors of a limited form. Classical error correcting codes use a syndrome measurement to diagnose which error corrupts an encoded state. We then reverse an error by applying a corrective operation based on the syndrome. Quantum error correction also employs syndrome measurements. We perform a multi-qubit measurement that does not disturb the quantum information in the encoded state but retrieves information about the error. A syndrome measurement can determine whether a qubit has been corrupted, and if so, which one. What is more, the outcome of this operation the syndrome tells us not only which physical qubit was affected, but also, in which of several possible ways it was affected. The latter is counterintuitive at first sight, since noise is arbitrary, how can the effect of noise be one of only few distinct possibilities? In most codes, the effect is either a bit flip, or a sign of the phase flip, or both corresponding to the Pauli matrices X, Z, and Y. The reason is that the measurement of the syndrome has the projective effect of a quantum measurement. So even if the error due to the noise was arbitrary, it can be expressed as a superposition of basis operations. The error basis which is here given by the Pauli matrices and the identity. The syndrome measurement «forces» the qubit to «decide» for a certain specific «Pauli error» to «have happened» and the syndrome tells us which, so that we can let the same Pauli operator act again on the corrupted qubit to revert the effect of the error. The syndrome measurement tells us as much as possible about the error that has happened, but nothing at all about the value that is stored in the logical qubit—as otherwise the measurement would destroy any quantum superposition of this logical qubit with other qubits in the quantum computer. The bit-flip code The repetition code works in a classical channel, because classical bits are easy to measure and to repeat. This stops being the case for a quantum channel in which, due to the no-cloning theorem, it is no longer possible to repeat a single qubit three times. To overcome this, a different method, such as the so-called three-qubit bit flip code, has to be used. This technique uses entanglement and syndrome measurements and is comparable in performance with the repetition code. Consider the situation in which we want to transmit the state of a single qubit. Psi display style vert psi wrangle through a noisy channel E display style math call E. Let us moreover assume that this channel either flips the state of the qubit with probability P display style P or leaves it unchanged. The action of E display style math call e on a general input rho display style rho can therefore be written as e rho equals 1 minus p rho plus p x rho x 
Display style math call e row equals one p row plus p x row x. Let psi equals alpha zero zero plus alpha one one. Display style psi wrangle equals alpha underscore zero zero wrangle plus alpha underscore one one wrangle be the quantum state to be transmitted. With no error correcting protocol in place, the transmitted state will be correctly transmitted with probability 1 minus p. We can however improve on this number by encoding the state into a greater number of qubits, in such a way that errors in the corresponding logical qubits can be detected and corrected. In the case of the simple 3 qubit repetition code the encoding consists in the mappings 0 0 l 000 display style vert 0 wrangle right arrow vert 0 underscore l wrangle equiv vert 000 wrangle and 1 1 l 111 Display style vert one wrangle right arrow vert one underscore l wrangle equiv vert one hundred eleven wrangle. The input state psi display style vert psi wrangle is encoded into the state psi equals alpha zero o o o plus alpha one one hundred eleven Display style vert psi wrangle equals alpha underscore zero vert o o o wrangle plus alpha underscore one vert one hundred eleven wrangle. This mapping can be realized, for example, using two C N O T gates, entangling the system with two ancillary qubits initialized in the state zero. Display style vert zero wrangle. The encoded state psi. Display style vert psi wrangle is what is now passed through the noisy channel the channel acts on psi display style vert psi wrangle by flipping some subset possibly empty of its qubits no qubit is flipped with probability 1 minus p 3 display style 1 p caret 3 a single qubit is flipped with probability 3 P one minus P two display style three P one P carrot two two qubits are flipped with probability three P two one minus P display style three P carrot two one P and all three qubits are flipped with probability P Three. Display style p caret three. Note that a further assumption about the channel is made here. We assume that e display style math call e acts equally and independently on each of the three qubits in which the state is now encoded. The problem is now how to detect and correct such errors without at the same time corrupting the transmitted state. Let us assume for simplicity that p display style p is small enough that the probability of more than a single qubit being flipped is negligible. One can then detect whether a qubit was flipped, without also querying for the values being transmitted, by asking whether one of the qubits differs from the others. This amounts to performing a measurement with four different outcomes, corresponding to the following four projective measurements. This can be achieved, for example, by measuring z 1 z 2. Display style z underscore one z underscore two, and then z two z three. Display style z underscore two z underscore three. This reveals which qubits are different from which others, without at the same time giving information about the state of the qubits themselves. If the outcome corresponding to p zero display style p underscore 0 is obtained no correction is applied while if the outcome corresponding to p i 
display style p underscore i is observed, then the Pauli x gate is applied to the i display style i th qubit. Formally, this correcting procedure corresponds to the application of the following map to the output of the channel. Note that, while this procedure perfectly corrects the output when 0 or 1 flips are introduced by the channel, if more than one qubit is flipped then the output is not properly corrected. For example, if the first and second qubits are flipped, then the syndrome measurement gives the outcome p 3 and the third qubit is flipped, instead of the first two. To assess the performance of this error correcting scheme for a general input, we can study the fidelity f psi display style f psi between the input psi display style vert psi wrangle and the output rho out e core e psi psi Display style row underscore operator name out a quiv math call e underscore operator name core math call e vert psi wrangle langle psi vert. Being the output state row out display style row underscore operator name out correct when no more than one qubit is flipped, which happens with probability one minus p three plus three p one minus p two display style one p caret three plus three p one p caret two. We can write it as one minus p three plus three p one minus p two psi psi plus display style one p caret three plus three p one p caret two vert psi wrangle langle Psi vert plus, where the dots denote components of row out display style row underscore operator name out, resulting from errors not properly corrected by the protocol. It follows that this fidelity is to be compared with the corresponding fidelity obtained when no error correcting protocol is used, which was shown before to equal one minus p display style sqrt one p. A little algebra then shows that the fidelity after error correction is greater than the one without for p one half display style p. Note that this is consistent with the working assumption that was made while deriving the protocol of p display style p being small enough topic the sign flip code flipped bits are the only kind of error in classical computer but there is another possibility of an error with quantum computers the sign flip through the transmission in a channel the relative sign between 0 display style 0 wrangle and 1 display style 1 wrangle can become inverted for instance a qubit in the state minus equals 0 minus 1 2 Display style wrangle equals zero wrangle one wrangle sqrt two may have its sign flipped to plus equals zero plus one two display style plus wrangle equals zero wrangle plus one wrangle sqrt two the original state of the qubit psi equals Alpha zero plus plus alpha one minus display style psi wrangle equals alpha underscore zero plus wrangle plus alpha underscore one wrangle will be changed into the state psi equals alpha zero plus 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 alpha 1 minus 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 display style psi wrangle equals alpha underscore 0 plus 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 wrangle plus alpha underscore 1 wrangle in the Hadamard basis bit flips become sign flips and sign flips become bit flips let e phase display style e underscore text phase be a quantum channel that can cause at most one phase flip. Then the bit flip code from above can recover psi wrangle. 
by transforming into the Hadamard basis before and after transmission through E phase display style E underscore text phase topic the shore code the error channel may induce either a bit flip a sign flip or both it is possible to correct for both types of errors using one code and the shore code does just that in fact the shore code corrects arbitrary single qubit errors let e display style e be a quantum channel that can arbitrarily corrupt a single qubit the first, fourth, and seventh qubits are for the sign flip code, while the three group of qubits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 8, 9 are designed for the bit flip code. With the shore code, a qubit state psi equals alpha 0 0 plus alpha 1 1 Display style psi wrangle equals alpha underscore zero zero wrangle plus alpha underscore one one wrangle will be transformed into the product of nine qubits. Psi equals alpha zero zero s plus alpha one one s Display style psi wrangle equals alpha underscore zero zero underscore s wrangle plus alpha underscore one one underscore s wrangle, where zero s equals one two two o o o plus one hundred eleven o o o plus one hundred eleven O O O plus one hundred eleven Display style zero underscore S wrangle equals FRAC one two SQRT two O O O wrangle plus one hundred eleven wrangle O times O O O wrangle plus one hundred eleven wrangle O times O O O wrangle plus one hundred eleven wrangle one S equals one two Two O O O minus one hundred eleven O O O minus one hundred eleven O O O minus one hundred eleven Display style one underscore s wrangle equals frac one two sqrt two o o o wrangle one hundred eleven wrangle o times o o o wrangle one hundred eleven wrangle o times o o o wrangle one hundred eleven wrangle. If a bit flip error happens to a qubit, the syndrome analysis will be performed on each set of states one two three four five six and seven eight nine, then correct the error. If the three bit flip group 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 8 9 are considered as three inputs then the shore code circuit can be reduced as a sign flip code This means that the shore code can also repair sign flip error for a single qubit the shore code also can correct for any arbitrary errors both bit flip and sign flip to a single qubit If an error is modeled by a unitary transform u which will act on a qubit psi Display style psi wrangle. Then u display style u can be described in the form u equals c zero i plus c one sigma x plus c two sigma y plus c 3 sigma z display style u equals c underscore 0 i plus c underscore 1 sigma underscore x plus c underscore 2 sigma underscore y plus c underscore 3 sigma underscore z where c 0 display style c underscore 0 c 1 Display style c underscore one c two 
Display style C underscore two and C three Display style C underscore three are complex constants, I is the identity, and the Pauli matrices are given by Sigma X equals O one one O display style sigma underscore x equals bigel begin matrix zero and one one and zero end matrix bigger sigma y equals zero minus i i zero display style sigma underscore y equals bigel begin matrix zero and i i and zero end matrix bigger sigma z equals one o o minus one Display style sigma underscore z equals bigel begin matrix one and zero zero and minus one end matrix bigger. If u is equal to i, then no error occurs. If u equals sigma x display style u equals sigma underscore x, a bit flip error occurs. If u equals sigma z display style u equals sigma underscore z, a sign flip error occurs. If u equals i sigma y, display style u equals i sigma underscore y, then both a bit flip error and a sign flip error occur. Due to linearity, it follows that the Shor code can correct arbitrary one qubit errors. Topic: <laughs> Bosonic codes. Several proposals have been made for storing error correctable quantum information in bosonic modes. Unlike a two-level system, an oscillator has infinitely many energy levels in a single physical system. For example, the CAT code was followed shortly after by Gottsman Kate of Preskill GKP states, and more recently by the binomial code. The insight offered by these codes is to take advantage of this redundancy within a single system, rather than to duplicate many two-level qubits. Written in the Fock basis, the simplest binomial encoding is 0 L equals 0 plus 4 2 1 L equals 2 Display style zero underscore L wrangle equals frac zero wrangle plus four wrangle sqrt two quad one underscore L wrangle equals two wrangle, where the subscript L indicates a logically encoded state. Then, if the dominant error mechanism of the system is the stochastic application of the bosonic lowering operator, a caret display style hat a the corresponding error states are 3 display style 3 wrangle and 1 display style 1 wrangle respectively since the codewords involve only even photon number and the error states involve only odd photon number errors can be detected by measuring the photon number parity of the system topic general codes In general, a quantum code for a quantum channel E display style math call E is a subspace C H display style math call C subset math call H where H display style math call H is the state Hilbert space such that there exists another quantum channel R Display style math call R with R E rho equals rho rho equals P C rho P C display style math call R sir math call e rho equals rho quad for all rho equals P underscore math call C rho P underscore math call C where P C display style P underscore math call C is the orthogonal projection onto C display style math call C here R Display style math call r is known as the correction operation. A non-degenerate code is one for which different elements of the set of correctable errors produce linearly independent results when applied to elements of the code. If distinct of the set of correctable errors produce orthogonal results, the code is considered pure. Topic: 
Topic: Models. Over time, researchers have come up with several codes. Peter Shor's 9 qubit code, aka the Shor code, encodes one logical qubit in nine physical qubits and can correct for arbitrary errors in a single qubit. Andrew Steen found a code which does the same with seven instead of nine qubits, see Steen code. Raymond Laflamme and collaborators found a class of five qubit codes which do the same, which also have the property of being fault tolerant. A 5 qubit code is the smallest possible code which protects a single logical qubit against single qubit errors. A generalization of this concept are the CSS codes, named for their inventors, A. R. Calderbank, Peter Shore, and Andrew Steen. According to the quantum Hamming bound, encoding a single logical qubit and providing for arbitrary error correction in a single qubit requires a minimum of five physical qubits. A more general class of codes encompassing the former are the stabilizer codes discovered by Daniel Gottsman 1 and by AR Calderbank, Eric Rains, Peter Shore and NJA Sloan 2 3. These are also called additive codes. Two-dimensional Bacon Shore codes are a family of codes parameterized by integers m and n. There are n m qubits arranged in a square lattice. A newer idea is Alexei Kataev's topological quantum codes and the more general idea of a topological quantum computer. Todd Brunn, Igor Devitak, and Min Xu She also constructed the entanglement assisted stabilizer formalism as an extension of the standard stabilizer formalism that incorporates quantum entanglement shared between a sender and a receiver. That these codes allow indeed for quantum computations of arbitrary length is the content of the threshold theorem, found by Michael Ben Orr and Dorit Aharonov, which asserts that you can correct for all errors if you concatenate quantum codes such as the CSS codes i.e. re-encode each logical qubit by the same code again, and so on, on logarithmically many levels—provided the error rate of individual quantum gates is below a certain threshold, as otherwise, the attempts to measure the syndrome and correct the errors would introduce more new errors than they correct for. As of late 2004, estimates for this threshold indicate that it could be as high as 1 to 3 percent, provided that there are sufficiently many qubits available. Experimental realization There have been several experimental realizations of CSS-based codes. The first demonstration was with NMR qubits. Subsequently, demonstrations have been made with linear optics, trapped ions, and superconducting transmon qubits. Other error correcting codes have also been implemented, such as one aimed at correcting for photon loss, the dominant error source in photonic qubit schemes. See also Error detection and correction Soft error <laughs>